Right there we have two beautiful red snappers. Right here we have the beautiful Toki, the Lycan Shepherd from the Lycan Shepherd Project. It's just in the kennel so I can shoot the intro to this video. Uh, this is going to be a feeding video. snapper before. He's going over to his eating spot. All my dogs have different grades they like to eat in. And, uh, I think he likes food over here. Snapper's a new fish for them. It's kind of a pricey fish, so they don't typically buy it. But I uh, thought we'd splurge a little and uh, give them something new. You can hear the other dogs on the porch eating their fish. Toki's an F3 from the Lycan Shepherd Project. I say in all my videos, I like to pet and handle my dogs. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. Unfortunately, he's chosen a spot here where the lighting isn't the best. I'm uh, going to pause this and adjust it. There we go. We got him uh, moved into some more flattering lighting. You don't have to worry about uh, bones with fish as long as the fish is raw. It's cook bones that are dangerous. Mammals of all shapes and sizes around the world eat fish bones as a regular part of their diet with absolutely no issue. Cooking the bone changes the bone. It changes its consistency. It makes it hard and brittle and indigestible. And that in turn is what it makes it uh, prone to both perforations and obstructions of the bowel. Raw bones won't do that, but as I always say, you do want to make sure your dogs are chewing the bone adequately as chewing is the first stage of digestion. It appears the red snapper is a hit. Again, I always like to pet and handle them when, I'm eat, when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. It teaches them to be relaxed. <coughs> I 
Let's just see he's got a little piece of bone stuck at his back tooth there. It's all part of the eating process. See, he stays relaxed even when I'm petting him when he's eating, and that's what we want to see. You know, you don't want to see him tense up or try to inhale his food. You want him to realize that you're not a, you're not a threat. You're not challenging for it. And that's very important, especially if you have kids in the house. You know, I've, as a two decade long animal warden, uh, have taken bite reports for many situations where kids and uh, other people have been badly bitten because people didn't take the time to do this from the time their dogs were young. It's a simple thing to do every time they're eaten to desensitize them and uh, you know the benefits really pay off if you have children because you can tell your kids as many times as you want uh, you know to stay away from your dog when they're eating. There, there's always going to be time when kids don't listen. So he's still blowing his coat a little bit. We've got most of it brushed out. There's still a bunch around the neck and the rear thighs. Somebody walking down the alley with their dog. Nice big burp. <laughs> You see these individual meals, you know, some of my dogs like to take their time when they're eating, when they don't have to worry about uh, the other dogs. Again, we do the pack feedings just once or twice a week to help uh, inoculate my dogs to stress and uh, to build uh, pack cohesion, but uh, the rest of their meals are all done individually. Earlier today as a group, I gave them all a bunch of carrots to gnaw on. They're all now eating the uh, meat and bone portion of their meal. You know, the fish also does have some organs in it. Even a gutted fish still has brains and eyes. And then they'll all get a little beef liver uh, individually later on today. I cut them off a chunk and feed it to them. Too many people get too stressed out about uh, making sure their dog has every nutrient, every meal when they're feeding raw. Uh, you don't have to do that every meal. The idea is them for to have a, a balanced uh, 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 selection of nutrients and that throughout the week you know if they get a little more of something one day and a little less the other uh, that, that's not going to hurt them as long as you know it's balanced throughout the week you know too many people online uh, make raw feeding look a lot more uh, complicated than it needs to be and it discourages a lot of people who are new to it. Uh, you know, you don't have to give them these deluxe uh, five course meals every time you feed them. You know, uh, it, it's pretty simple to feed a dog raw and you can do it cheaper for, than you can uh, commercial food if you buy in bulk. And I have a bunch of playlists on the channel that'll show you how to do that. Just biting at the bees. This time of year, uh, in the fall, we get a lot of them. I use the word.
word uh, bees loosely, they're actually wasps. My dogs eat a lot of them, they don't seem to care if they get stung. Especially honey badger. I guess living up to her namesake. <laughs> Again, I haven't put up uh, very many individual feedings uh, like this. Uh, I did one at Ryuk the other day. I'll put up some more uh, because I've mostly done pack feedings lately and I know people enjoy watching the individual dogs eat. I Can you tell I live by the airport and also an Air Force base? enjoyed watching uh, Toki eat some red snapper. Bye from my buddy and myself. Check out our uh, videos. We've got uh, over 4,400 plus videos on the channel and uh, multiple playlists. I say that to all the new subscribers. I've picked up uh, a few thousand new subscribers over the last couple days. I have a video that's going viral right now. Welcome to my channel. I think Toki's going to leisurely uh, eat the rest of this fish. That's all. Check out our merch store. Lots of cool merch on the channel. See ya. I let Ulu the vacuum cleaner out. She'll hoover the rest of that uh, fish up. Oh, she wants a belly rub. <laughs> That's her favorite thing is uh, belly rubs with my foot. I think the texture of the tennis shoe feels good. She seems to love it. Girl. You gonna eat that toke or I'm gonna let her have it? <laughs> yes, yes. grandma have that or are you gonna eat it because she'll take it if you give her a chance <laughs> I 
Grandma said, I'm always hungry. She just finished eating, so don't don't feel sorry for her. It's not like she hasn't had me. But sometimes if I have a dog that's eating an individual meal and uh, they're not eating all I gave them, I will let another dog out to incentivize them. And then that way if they really don't want to eat it, they can just leave it. The other dog will, will scarf it up. Otherwise, uh, sometimes they just like to lollygag and keep it laying around. And uh, If I let another dog out, they'll finish it off pretty quick. And I write Tokmeister. So yeah, first time uh, he's had Red Snapper. I've never bought it before for the dogs. Again, it's kind of pricey. About 70 bucks for a 10 pound box. I normally pay about 15 bucks for a 10 pound box of tilapia. Just a little price comparison there for you. That's at Restaurant Depot. FedEx truck out in front. It makes this weird beeping noise when it's parked. Well, there you go. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye from Mr. Toki. The beautiful Mr. Toki. <laughs> Bye from Miss Ulu. And myself. See ya. Oh, girl. Oh, she's gonna roll over. She's gonna drop. <laughs> See ya. I designed some more new merch. This gear is uh, my A Werewolf line. It says, What do you call a wolf that knows it's a wolf? A werewolf. Show those around you that you're awake in an age of sheeple. It says uh, a werewolf on the front. It's got my logo on the back. It comes in multiple colors. Also comes in multiple designs. Here we have an all over print. I like how this one turned out. On uh, one sleeve it says a werewolf. On the other sleeve it says Ulfidin. It's got my uh, wolf skull, human skull logo on the front, channel logo on the back. Comes in some cool colors, if you like bright colors. And uh, also comes in black. Comes in uh, women's shirts, men's shirts, v-necks, tank tops, etc. We also have the a werewolf hats that say a, were, a werewolf on the front. It's got my channel logo on the back. Got it in the distressed dad hat uh, with black. Uh, this hat here. It's got multiple colors. Again, got uh, my logo on the back also. also have it in the distressed dad's hats uh, in white uh, printing. We've got a few other hats that uh, weren't up in my last video. We've got the Life's Too Short to Be a Remf hat. Remf is an acronym for Rear Echelon MFR from uh, the military. Basically, it means life's too short to sit around. Uh, get out and enjoy it with your dog. We also have my Too Old for Snapchat, Too Young for Life Alert, uh, which I think describes me well. <laughs> this is that on the front. Got the channel logo on the back.
back. And then we've got the Human Skull Wolf hat, uh, the Brotherhood Fellowship hats, Veteran of the Psychic Wars. And then some of my other merch here. We've got the Kurgan merch. We've got uh, Ryuk. All kinds of products with both. Coffee mugs, glasses, men's, women's products, stickers, all over print products. We've got Honey Badger giving her famous side eye in multiple products. Again, every product comes in multiple colors. All of them are printed on the front and the back. Here we've got the Joker James Honey Badger painting and also the uh, Kurgan painting that uh, he did. And here we've got the uh, human wolf skull gear. This is another all over print shirt I made with that uh, but uh, instead it has the hand prints on the sleeves instead of the writing. and so on and then below that we've got all our older gear the white hand and red hand gear the elder futhark stuff etc take a look i'll put a link in the video description if you'd like to see more uh, all this new stuff won't show up in the merch tray so you'll have to go to that link and go to the site and take a look at it i'd like to thank all the people that uh, have bought gear over the last couple of weeks the new gear i've put up and uh, I hope uh, you guys like some of the new stuff I just created. That's all. Best wishes, everyone. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. <laughs>